If you're buying a container, you're overpaying. Welcome back everybody. Tony Lopez and Cameron Sharsh here. And unless you're in the industry, you're likely overpaying for your containers. And so in this video, I wanna break down to you how we've learned over the last seven years on how to get the best pricing on shipping containers. So the most common way that people buy shipping containers is from a local vendor. And if you're doing this, you're actually paying top dollar. These are people that are selling retail. They're getting the containers either from the port or directly from overseas. They're putting a hefty markup on it and they're selling it to you. This is the path you don't want to take. The second way to purchase a container is right off the internet. Craigslist, Facebook Market, places like that. Um, find the deals locally, talk to some people, uh, haggle with them, find every flaw you can in that container and get the best price that you can. Now, what you do wanna be careful for if you are doing that is you wanna make sure the container is actually watertight. So what can happen is if someone has had a container for 10 or 15 years, rust can develop on the ceiling. And even if there's a pinhole and you're trying to build a container home, that could lead to a lot of problems. One way to check for water tightness is to literally spray it with a water hose. Close all the doors up, spray that thing down, and then go inside of it to see if that you have any leaks around the perimeter of the ceiling. What you'll notice is when you look at the inside of a container, especially up towards the ceiling, a good way to identify a leak is any little rust streams that you see. That just means that over time, water's been running there and now it's starting to rust. Another thing you can do is actually go in the container. You may not want to do this other property. Close the container door. They might lock you in. And <laughs> you can see if there's any light. You can just look up and if you see light coming in, telltale sign, obviously there's a hole there. The best way for you to buy a container home is to buy it directly from your nearest port. Now there's a lot of major ports around the US. These are areas or are also known as depots where a lot of containers are imported. And it's those companies there and brokers in those areas where you can get the absolute best pricing. What this means a lot of times is that you will need to coordinate the shipping. And so you can use a company like uship.com, give them the details, and it'll actually go to a job board where people will bid on your listing. So if you're buying a container out of the port of Long Beach, like we typically do, uh, you can go to uship.com, put the information where that's gonna get picked up from and start getting quotes. And you're gonna save probably about $1,500 in total versus buying from your local vendor. Now keep in mind when you do get a container shipped to you um, that you're gonna need a way to offload it. So that could be either with a tilt bed trailer, um, that's if the trucker is supplying that, or you're gonna wanna rent a forklift or even rent a crane, um, depending on where you're trying to put this container. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this helps save you some money. And if you're looking to save more money on your container build, go ahead and click the link below. We got a free resource for you. It's gonna teach you our biggest lessons after building 100 container homes. Catch you on the next video.